Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the different viewing options in Lightroom Mobile. I'm starting here in the All Photos view. To move to Grid View, I'll tap Lightroom Photos. Now, by default, Lightroom is segmenting this view by year, but because all of these photographs were taken in the same year, it appears as if there isn't any segmentation. In order to change that, I'm going to tap and hold where it says 2016, and then change the segment by month. We can see now that I have three different segments. All of the photos are visible in the first segment, but in the second segment I have another 114 images that I'm not viewing. In order to expand the segment, I'll tap 114. Now we can see all of the images taken in that month. If I want to collapse that segment, I can use a two-finger gesture where I'm pinching my fingers together vertically from top to bottom. That will collapse all of the different segments. If I want to see additional information about my images, I can use a two-finger tap in order to show photo info. But we can see that the photo info is only being displayed on the thumbnails that are larger. If I want to enlarge all of my thumbnails, I'll use another two-finger gesture. This time, it's a pinch outward at a 45-degree angle. And I'll just enlarge that thumbnail a little bit. When I release my gesture, we can see that even the vertical images now have the photo info displayed. If I want to display alternate information, I can use that double finger tap again. We can see the EXIF data. I'll tap again with two fingers to show flags and rating badges, and again to show comments and likes, and one more time to hide the information. Now when I'm viewing a single image, and I'll do so by tapping on one of them, if I want to enlarge this to 100%, I'll just double tap. Then I can swipe to pan around, and to zoom back out, I'll double tap again. I can also use my pinch gestures here in order to zoom in or zoom out. If I want to see additional information about this photograph, I can use that same double finger tap in order to see information, or I'll double finger tap again in order to see the histogram, and once more to cycle through to no information. In order to return back to grid view, I'll use the caret in the upper left, and then I can tap it again to return to all photos. And one thing I just want to note, if you do change the orientation of your phone, of course the interface will be updated in order to accommodate that orientation. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.